Hey y'all, so today we'll be touring this beautiful second life sim named Starling. So, come on, let's look around. I always thought of grief as an emotion that was designated for death. The passing of loved ones bears one of the greatest griefs known to mankind. But, what about grief aside from death? Not living with grief, but living grief? Is that even a thing? Well, it feels like it is for now. Maneuvering through life has its ups and downs, as we all know, but the devastation of unexpectedly living grief can feel like more than you can handle. I find myself staring up at the ceiling as the sun rises and peeks through my blinds, because once again, I can't rest. Is this some type of test that I should be glad I didn't have to study for? Perhaps this is a lesson on expecting the unexpected. I really don't know. The ebb and flow of emotions seem like a never-ending wave. I keep telling myself that things will feel better and different soon, but what if they don't? What if this grief swallows me like a tiny boat in an endless ocean? What if my mind never finds the peaceful calm that it's been so used to? What if the sleepless nights last for even longer? And what if this grief drives me into the arms of depression? I must admit, y'all, I do find myself talking out loud more than usual, constantly trying to talk myself off of the ledge of depression and sadness. I've always felt like I was strong enough to deal with many difficult things, even if I cry like a baby during. I've always known that it would be okay. But this grief feels extremely different, with no sight of an end near. I blame myself for not spending more time building a more meaningful bond. That maybe I should have made myself more available. Maybe I should have tried harder to break down that wall. Or, or maybe that I should have paid more attention and loved a little harder. Maybe that would have helped to avoid this grief. It's both sad and refreshing because unlike what my exes have proclaimed, I do indeed have a heart. In my opinion, one of the beauties of life is the uncertainty of it. The day-to-day -day changes that laugh in the face of foresight. The mixing up of daily tasks that always seem to work out right. Or the happy gifts that the universe waited patiently to surprise you with. Life is, was, and will continue to be everything for me that I desire it to be. But every now and then, I believe life will sprinkle a bit of dismay and unwanted change to let you know that everything won't be perfect all the time. Sometimes things are just okay. And sometimes circumstances shake your world in a way that no funeral ever could. While I unwantingly dwell in this space of uncertainty, I know that this too shall pass. So, how I'm working through this is writing it out and sharing it so that I can get it out my head and get out my head at the same time. I believe that no one has the power to pull you out from grief but you. No one can break the shackles of depression but you. No one can see the sun in a sky full of clouds. But if you stay patient, you get to see the rainbow at the end of the storm. I'm gonna hold out for the rainbow.